Hi Gemini, welcome to your um, August relationship forecast. You know, ever since the two of you actually moved in together, there has been a lot of changes, which is not really a positive one. There has been a lot of lies, paranoias, walled up. The other one is being dismissive, walking away, being too indecisive, unsure of everything while you are thinking of going back to where you used to be. You're thinking of um, being on your own. You want to cut things off. Yet, I feel like your partner is just being emotional right now. And um, she's still thinking about, you know, what if. Um, there has been a lot of, like, lack of trust, communications. Uh, before the other could actually, you know, like, instead of asking the other or confronting the other talking to you your partner is kind of will just like jump into your phone open the messages and you know like hey this is uh, you're talking to your ex or you're talking to this woman you're exchanging messages blah 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 you know and then there goes the nagging you feel like uh, your privacy is also being invaded and you don't have any freedom of some sort and you don't have any like entitlement I mean, when you're already in a relationship, especially if you're already in a domesticated one, um, I'm not saying that you shouldn't really have your own privacy, but try to be a little bit more open. I know that you're trying to be open by leaving your phone, uh, you know, without any passcode or without any security of some sort, but then try to be a little bit more... Um, uh, you know, like um, you'll have more concern about your partner's feelings. Consideration. Your partner is, I feel like it's not that she is afraid to lose you, but more likely that she is afraid to, for you to do whatever she's been doing to you. Okay? Um, and that is where she's actually acting a little bit um childish immature hasty aggressive and a little bit more playing like a sleuth or detective okay you know when someone is already uh playing like a detective in a relationship oh i might as well just give it up when the trust is gone there's no point to be in a relationship anymore you on the other hand there is also something that you've been um that you've been hiding from your partner and you've been hiding from you know whoever you're in a relationship with right now especially contacting and still communicating with someone from the past who made you happy once or who is you know you're currently being happy communicating right now you on the other hand um, are causing more heartaches and uh, breakage to your relationship there's already a crack and you are opening the crack even more you're contributing more damage to the situation by doing it you know when when it's all with the nx it's all with the nx leave it all behind and you're thinking of even sneaking whenever your partner is not actually around this we are already entering the the retrograde phase so most of the people most of the times right now there are you are you or they are not going to be in their rightful minds okay um don't even think of sneaking behind or don't even think of um seeing this ex of yours because you will get caught i'm telling you your partner right now is very intuitive and sharp and whatever you do, whatever you're up to, that person can definitely read you, feel you, and, you know, you're already thinking about it, and she already knows what you're up to. You could re uh, Both of you could actually read each other's mind, and you already have the same brain w wavelength. Um, her, on the other hand, is also under fire or under the weather with her boss and her work and she's kind of thinking of leaving or resigning because she is struggling to still keep this job and she's still whining that oh my god if it's not only paying for my bills i really wanted to resign from this uh you know from this crappy company i mean the pay is good but how she's being treated and how she's being uh driven as a slave is not really enough or not it's not even deserving she wants to talk to you. She wants to air some of her 
angst, her grievance, her, her issues about work, but you are so unavailable. It seems like, you know, she's also thinking that while she's at work, you're, think you're doing something right behind her. There's so much love between the two of you before, right before the two of you could actually, you know, right before the two of you lived together or moved in together. But then things have changed. The mystery is gone. The excitement is gone. It's like both of you became too transparent, like two um, mirrors or two um, see-through glasses. So there's nothing to hide anymore. There's nothing to discover. And you feel like she is continuously digging up more and more and more. Okay, to the extent that you feel like you're being violated and you feel like your privacy is also being invaded. She wants to, she actually wants to move away from you. She actually wants to walk away, but then I feel like you're not yet ready to do that. You know, ask yourself when you enter this relationship or when you enter this new kind of setup, like domesticated one, are you really ready? Or do you feel like you're just being forced to do it because you're you're trying to compromise when you're not yet ready to do something you have to tell that person you have to tell your partner otherwise it's not gonna work out you'll keep on sneaking in you will keep on doing something against your partner's will and it's just gonna cause more dis uh, disruption and downfall you're thinking of traveling but I feel like there will be a delay it's either you're going to miss out your plane or there will be some problems with your visa. You're going to be... Chances are you might misplace your passport or you might misplace one of your identification um, stuff, you know, cards. Um, there's someone who will be helping you out, but then you have to bear in mind that you are not supposed to take this trip. Okay, you should take care of your relationship first, face your um, problems, deal with your problems and with your demons and your um, fears. And it's time for you to stop doing whatever it is that you're doing right now because it's not going to go well and it's not going to result into anything positive. The two of you could actually still work it out and there, there is a silver lining or success that is waiting at the end of this month for both of you if you will choose to work it out with your partner right now. Your partner right now really cares a lot for you and wishing for things to still be the same. A lot of people are being nostalgic right now. And um, you're not yet over with someone from the past. This is really wrong. You know, one thing, uh, uh, one thing that I can tell you about something from the past. If you, keep, if you keep on looming, if you keep on thinking, and you are you know, like uh, still remembering, reminiscing, being nostalgic about someone from the past, you are not actually remembering the memory. You are attracting the same kind of story to be applied to your current situation or relationship right now that how you ended up and how that relationship ended or worked out. It is going to apply or it, the karma will just bridge down to this current relationship of yours. It's not healthy. When it's an ex, it's an ex. Leave the past all behind and leave it there. Okay? Stop bringing it up. Stop remembering. And stop hounding that person. Even in social media, pictures, or the updates. Cut it off. Because whatever happened to you with this person from the past, it will apply to your current relationship right now. And this is something that is really worth it. So think long and hard about your actions right now, okay? Anyway, let's take a look at your sexual connection. Okay, Gemini. Mm -hmm. Looks like you two of you aren't really, uh, aren't really, you know, like one in the same when it comes to love making, or when it comes to you know, to whatever you really want to do in bed. And I feel like somewhere, somehow, you are doing it alone. She is doing it alone while watching the neighbor, while watching porn alone. You know, she feels like she's the only she's the only one who could satisfy herself. Or sometimes you're not really available to do it. And sometimes you wanted to do it yourself. Sometimes you want to pleasure yourself. You want to please her, but you don't know how. 
it's like you want to la lay her down in a bed of roses, but then what is, she, what is it that you really want? You have to answer and you have to discover. Maybe reading um, her forecast or reading her, you know, like uh, the, the sexual fetish of uh, each zodiac signs will also help you. Because you're a little bit clueless, whatever that she wants in her in, in bed. Because both of you are doing it alone and pleasuring yourselves. Don't over obsess. Uh, you are becoming more and more like into her, but then it's like, why can't you seem to get her? Why can't you seem to get your partner's weakness when it comes to bed? You need to apply a little bit of a magic and you need to apply a little bit of more information like what turns her on or, you know, how can you get it on? You need to serenade her, you need to woo her, be romantic, be more loving and be more, you know, like be more touchy, passionate. It, it will start from a very hard, uh, sorry, it will start from a very hot and fiery kiss. She loves kissing long kissing but just be careful because i feel like there is someone who's gonna be attracted to your partner which is more likely a fire sign and there is also another person which is someone who will be offering her you know like a short-term affair so it's i'm not saying that she will get tempted but there is a danger that will come right in between of your sex life you know you can try doing it in the um, in the kitchen. Uh, this position is really hard, you know. Um, she's a little bit adventurous and she's a little bit experimental when it comes to positions or when it comes to doing it in a different way. It turns her on in an odd place or doing it outside, doing it in the public bathroom doing it in the kitchen you know like laying down some food on top of her and you're gonna eat it i feel like that is um what turns her on um she also loves being worship kiss her feet or you know like uh, start um tickling or start you know like doing some styles or applying some languid moves starting from her feet because that turns her on and i feel like she also loves doing it behind you need to apply a little bit of a magic a little bit of information and you need to ask more information about her secret desires and fancy all right instead of both of you doing it yourselves and hiding it in another room then the other is also watching porn and then doing it by yourselves okay there is something that you're kind of missing and there is something that you know just because that the other person is faking their orgasm doesn't mean that it's already enough it needs a lot more effort because the sex your sex life I mean the sexual part of your relationship it's um, I don't feel like it's something major but it is something that will be affecting your emotions and your you know your feelings for each other being one and the same and being too passionate and fiery um about each other is really really important you need to connect you need to have some chemistry all right and the key here is with you not from her not with her all right so anyway that's it for you for this month uh gemini if you want to have more personalized readings go and visit me at my website sfeangel.net blessings